Chapter 18, Small Amendment. Quiet, please. It was assembly once again. Once again, it was Mr Barrington who was speaking. Once again, Mrs Wang, Mrs Gerard and Miss Finch were seated at the rear of the hall. Once again, Mr Carter, who we now know actually is Ryan, had his back to the children, who were sitting cross-legged on the floor. Good morning, children, said Mr Barrington. Good morning, Mr Barrington. Mr Barrington looked towards the other end of the hall. He saw Ryan Ward sitting there, but he did not hear him say, Bummington. Also, Ryan's tie seemed to be tied up right to the top of his shirt button. This made Mr Barrington a little confused. Though he was pleased his words in the corridor had made a difference. I'm sure, school, you'd want to join me in welcoming back our head teacher after his short illness, he continued. All the children went quiet at this point. None of them looked like they really did want to welcome him back. I said, I'm sure you want to welcome back our head teacher. Welcome back, Mr Carter, said the children in a not very together or enthusiastic way. So it was more of a, welcome back, Mr Carter. At this point, Mr Carter finally turned around, but it was a different turn from the one he'd made in the first assembly that term, which had been slow and threatening and more dramatic. This time it was quick. Mr Carter spun on his heel with both arms stuck out in a bit of a big grin on his face. It was a bit showbiz. It was as if he was turning to the camera in the opening moments of Mr Carter's crazy night out on UK Gold. He was wearing the same black suit as ever, although strangely the tie was not done up to the top button, as per usual. Hey Bracket Wood, said Mr Carter. How you doing? Silence, confusion, quite a lot of frowning from both kids and teachers. I said, said Mr Carter, hey Bracket Wood, how you doing? Still silence, apart from one voice at the back, round now about where Ryan Wood was sitting. The voice didn't actually say any words, but it let out a loud groan. Then the rest of the children said uncertainly, how are you doing, Mr Carter? I'm good, and thank you, by the way, very much indeed for opening the show here today, Mr Bummington. All the children laughed. Mr Barrington looked up very confused. Let's hear it in fact for Mr Bummington, continued Mr Carter, applauding loudly. The children laughed and joined in the applause. I'm sorry, Mr Carter, said Mr Barrington, approaching him. Speaking softly, I noticed you made the mistake in hospital too. It's um, Barrington, not my name is Barrington. Bummington, Barrington? No, not Bummington, Barrington. My first name is Otto. I see, Mr Carter paused and looked at Mr Barrington with what seemed to be new eyes. Really? Otto? Otto? Yes. What's your middle name? Ernest. Right, got it. He looked at the audience and the children. Let's hear it for Otto Ernest Barrington. The children all laughed. Why are they laughing now, said Mr Barrington to Miss Wang. So, said Mr Carter, after my first assembly, a whole set of new rules and regulations were outlined. I have a few amendments to make. Miss Finch? Yes, Mrs. said Miss Finch, looking terrified. A bit like a gruffalo, but terrified. Don't worry, Miss Finch, said Mr Carter, holding her a sheet of paper. It was on a sheet of paper that Mr Barrington had pinned to the notice board in the corridor. There's no mouse in this forest. Pardon? Nothing. Would you mind reading out the new rules one by one? Miss Finch looked down, she coughed, then she began. Dress. All children will wear school uniform in neat, respectable conditions. Ties must be tied properly. OK. I say small amendment, said Mr Carter. All children will wear whatever they like. In fact, children, wear the funniest outfit. children with the funniest outfits will get the largest amount of praise points. Particularly kudos will be given to any child who comes to school wearing a funny hat. The staff members sitting behind Mr Carter frowned. But the children who were warming to this new version of their teacher laughed and some clapped. Meanwhile, Mr Carter ran off stage, which led to even more frowning from the teachers. Then he came back and said, perhaps like this. Mr Carter was wearing a top hat. It was one that the school had used in the Christmas play last year to portray Scrooge. And also about four other um, Victorian characters. Anyway, on the front of the hat was a big photograph of Benny and Gonita, the tortoises, being held up by the two reception children wearing underwear. Do you remember that bit? This got a very big laugh from the children. As the laughter was dying down, Mr Carter did an elaborate old-fashioned bow, taking the hat off and waving it across his body. Then he stood up and said, carry on Miss Finch, next rule. From the back of the hall, where Ryan was sitting, came another groan.